Hey everyone, welcome back to Bioschool. This is Gayatri. In today's session, we are going to solve some previous year questions from conjugation. So let's get started. This one is the first question. Which of the following is true for cells harboring a prime plasmid? So in my previous video, I have discussed in details about what is uh, f factor what is hfr and what is f prime and their conjugation in case if you missed that video so i'll drop the link in the description box down below so please make sure to check that video so what is the f prime f prime plasmid is that plasmid that contains the complete f factor okay it contains the complete f factor and a portion of chromosomal gene that is known as the f dash okay complete f factor but a portion of chromosomal gene so which of the following is true for cells harboring f prime plasmid it is asking here their f plasmid is non-functional no this one is wrong they exhibit increased rates of transfer of all chromosomal genes no because it contains a partial chromosomal gene not all okay so this one is also wrong they are marrow diploids yes they are marrow diploids so what is marrow diploid marrow diploid means partial diploid okay so if we conjugate f prime with with f minus then so f minus it has its own bacterial chromosome but it lacks the f factor that's why it is f minus so when conjugation takes place then this f factor it will start to move to the f minus right so in f minus what we will get we will get the complete f factor it will be transferred along with the portion of chromosomal gene okay so here this chromosomal gene which i have represented as a blue color let's say that one is uh, the lactose okay that is the lactose the lactose and also it has its own lactose that means this is marrow diploid or its genome is part of the genome is diploid okay here that is diploid for lactose so they are the marrow diploid marrow diploid means it is partially diploid for a part of genome yes so this one is correct option c is correct they fail to survive as the chromosomal origin of replication is inactivated no this one is incorrect so the correct option is they are marrow diploids let's see this question using interrupted mating okay interrupted mating i have explained earlier in my conjugation video okay so in interrupted mating means during the transfer of dna from one bacteria to the other bacteria the conjugation tube it breaks okay conjugation tube it breaks so the matting is interrupted okay and four hfr strains were analyzed for the sequence in which they transmitted a number of different genes to a f minus strain each hfr strain was found to transmit its gene in a unique order as summarized in the table only the first five genes were scored okay so first what is hfr strain hfr means high frequency recombinance okay and how the high frequency recombinant strains are formed so let's say this one is the bacterial chromosome and this this one is f plasmid okay this one is bacterial chromosome and this one is a plasmid so when this a plasmid it will integrate it with bacterial chromosome then high frequency recombinants are formed or it's a past strain it will be formed okay this is hfr so when we conjugate hfr strain with f minus okay conjugate hfr strain with f minus then interrupted matting occurs okay interrupted matting means in hfr strain this is the f factor first nick will be formed then portion of f factor it will be transport 
from h f r to f minus okay then the portion of f factor is transport then for transfer of other or the rest of the f factor which is present at the three prime end then entire chromosome have to transport okay but for transfer of entire chromosome bacteria so for transfer of entire bacterial chromosome it will need 100 minutes okay but before that conjugation tube breaks and interrupter matting takes place okay so if the interrupter matting takes place and here four hfr strains with their unique order are given okay and there only the five genes first five genes those are transported from the chromosome okay first five genes which are transported that are also recorded then what we have to do which one of the following correctly represent the gene sequence in the original strain from which HFR strains were derived as well as the place of integration and polarity of a plasmid. So we have to find out the correct gene sequence of original strain. Okay. So the, in HFR, in the original HFR strain, what was the correct genetic order? We have to find out that then we have to find out the place of integration of polarity of f plasmid so here i want to mention you one thing where the place of integration takes place it will take place at the just before the first gene okay integration where it takes place it will be takes place just before the first gene okay as the first f factor it will be moved then the first gene it will be moved right so the place of integration and polarity of the a plasmid it will be just before the past gene remember so let's solve this one for h a strain one a b d f h then the second one it is b a l m k okay so similar genes i'll put it together like uh, here this one is b then a both are similar then l m k okay now go for the third one third one is m k okay m k similar so just written below m and k m k then j g h k it transferred with j then g and h this is third one right then the fourth one fourth one is f h f yes here the f then h okay f h then g j and k so now we will write down the correct gene order so how can we write down let's say this one is the genome and the gene order first it is a b d f h so let me write down a b d f and h the second one is in this direction b a l m k so b a is already there so i have write down l m k right then the third one in this direction that is m k j g h so m k is already there so I, what i will be right okay j g h so fourth one is f h j g k is already there in the genome then we have to find out the place of integration place of integration it will be just before the first gene like uh, for h a per strain one it will be just before a okay it will be just before a over here then for strain 2 then the second one it will be here then the third one will be here and uh, fourth one will be here okay it will be in a b f m just before the first gene okay let's see the option and find out which one is correct a b d f h let's see a b d fs this one is hf so this one is wrong 
a b d f h so yeah this may be correct a b d f h not h f so this one is wrong this one is a b d f h so this one may be correct okay a b d f h either option b or option c will be the correct answer then we have to find out the place of integration let's see the place of integration in the option b the place of integration it will be at a b f m right a b f m these are the first gene just before that so here there is no place of integration okay so we can eliminate this one so this one is wrong so which one will be the correct the correct option will be option c so here the proper gene order is there so here the proper gene order is there like our gene order what we have got we got the a b d f h g j k m l similar option is there in option c also the place of integration is at the first of gene like uh, it a b m and f for 4h plus strain so the correct answer is option c this question is from 2017 december okay let's see the question the following table shows mapping data from three interrupted mating experiment using three different hfr strain and an f minus strain so i have uh, told you just before what is interrupted mating and what is a uh, hfr strain and f minus strain it is asking that the appearance of gene in f minus cell so hfr strain one two three is given also the time is given to us then what we have to do we have to find out the following answers are derived we have to find out the order of gene then we have to find the distance so first let's find out the order of the gene so how can we find out the order of gene for finding out the order of the gene we have to arrange the genes first okay let's do that so the first one is e f c d b okay then the second one is b d b d c f let's say e is skipped so in place g is present in the second case in third one let's write down d d c f e is present then g then we have to find out the order of gene so let's put it in map e f c d b okay i have written here e f c d b then the second one is b d b d c f g i have considered that the, this e is missing okay so let's consider that e is missing in b so the order is like this the third one is d then c then f then e and g okay this is the order so let's go for the option so in the option is saying that the option which one is p is e g b d c f okay e g b d c f this is the order is correct and the second one what it say f g b f g b d c no so the q is wrong and which one is correct the correct answer is option p okay first how can you solve this question for solving this question first you have to write down the gene order what is given in the question and put the similar genes just below that or in a single column okay here i have done then arrange the gene like here i have arranged first i have written down that e f e f c d b which is first then in the second one is b d c f g so b d c f and g we consider that e is absent in that or e is skipped so like that then in the third one is d c f e g d c f e g so what is the correct order the correct order is e g b d c f then in the next we have to find out the distance between them so how can we will find out the distance uh, the distance between f and g is 32 so find out f f is 31 and g is 63 okay just 63 
minus 31 is 32 okay this one is correct f and g distance is 32 then f and b okay here the f and b are present this strain it's a for one strain so f and b is f is oh sorry b is 54 minus 24 it is 30 this is correct then we have to find out the distance between c and e c is 34 e is 6 so 34 minus 6 34 minus 6 is 28 okay so this one is also correct then you have to find out the distance between b and c let's see b and c b is 54 and c is 34 so 54 minus 34 is 20 okay both of the option r and s are correct p correct answer is the correct combination is p r and s option a is the correct answer p a r and s so thank you so much for watching this video hope this video will help you a lot in solving the questions from conjugation still if you have any confusion then please let me know bye bye see you in my next video till then keep learning